Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use my new infusion called Evil Portal, which is a front end for No Dog Splash, which is a Captive Portal software. If you don't know what Captive Portal is, it's that thing that pops up at Starbucks or McDonald's that says, hey, you have to agree to our terms of service before you can use the internet, and you can't get around it. And he said that you go to, it pops this thing up. So that's what Captive Portal is, and that's what we're going to be setting up here. Um, since you have to go to it, I thought it's a good place to run a Java drive by, or like, uh, browser autoclone and Metasploit or um, any other browser based attacks you want or just give someone a terms of service that they have to agree to or even do some like authentication capturing of some sort so yeah let's go ahead and get started um, you're going to go ahead and install it from the pineapple bar which I'm sure you guys already know how to do and let's go ahead and open it up and you'll see the large tile here and you're going to have to follow this tutorial um, step one is you're going to make sure all the dependencies are installed so we're going to go ahead and close out of this we're going to go ahead and say install dependencies and we're going to go ahead and wait for it to be done it should only take uh, it shouldn't take too long it depends on your internet connection alright it's done so let's go ahead and close out of that and open this back up alright step two we need to open up the uh, configure UHTTP daemon tab and we're going to look for this line right here and change 80 to 8080 so let's go ahead and look for that alright here it is and we're just going to go ahead and at the end of this add another 80 and click save changes and we'll see it changed right up here or saved right up here alright step 2 or step 3 rather uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the configure no dog splash tab and we're going to look for this line and underneath that we're going to look for this line right here and below that line we're going to add uh, the following two lines we're going to add this line and we're going to add this line um, don't copy and paste this one if you're using version uh, 1.0.0 of no, um, Evil Portal because there's a typo right here and it will cause no dog splash not start. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this line, which is going to allow access to the server running on 8080 and slash www of the pineapple. So whoop, let's go ahead and do that. Here. All right, and the next one that we're going to add is also going is going to be the port for whatever your web uh, admin page is. Um, in my case, it's 1471. That's the default one. You guys might have changed it. Just put yours there. And we're going to go ahead and click Save Changes, and it should change right up there again. All right, cool. And now what we need to do step four. We need to restart the UHTTP daemon. So we're going to go ahead and click this button and it'll say restarting and once that's done then it's restarted alright so it's good now so now we can come over to the edit splash and preview page um, in preview huh oh okay in preview we're gonna see it looks really weird um, that's just because no dog splash processes stuff differently because it's its own web server so these variables um, come out looking different oh whoops I pressed the button let's go ahead and go back there alright preview and this is what it's gonna look like um, now if we head over to 172.16.42.1 and press enter, this is what it actually looks like. Um, the preview tab is kind of just, I don't know, it's a feature, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like, and I'm going to go ahead and change this a little bit so you guys can see um, something that I've made. Um, I already have this pre-made, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and click save changes, and it's saved and it's over to preview and um, see it looks a little bit different, you still can't see the picture but you know whatever um, now let's go ahead and refresh this and here's what I have, it's just the terms of service and you have to agree to it to enter um, now I'm not going to show you now but if you go ahead and connect to your phone or um, another computer that you have or anything that you got to your pineapple and try to go to a web page uh, you'll get your captive portal page instead of the web page you're going to and until you click the enter button or the accept button or whatever you have to get past you can't get past it so it's a very good spot to do some nice browser exploitation or just cover yourself legally um, so yeah that's no dog splash if you guys have any questions or suggestions or problems with it go ahead and post it over at um, hack5 forums or forums.hack5.org I have it on there um, there's a thread under the Wi-Fi pineapple infusions 
Um, one thing I want to point out quickly, I might have already said this, but um, this typo right here, if you copy and paste this line, you will get errors. So don't copy and paste this line. Um, that will be fixed in my next release, which will be very soon. Uh, it will be version 1.1 .1 of Evil Portal. And, um, oh, one thing I forgot. You can go ahead and click run on startup, which will make uh, no dog splash start every time your pineapple reboots, which I'm actually going to go ahead and do. And cool, so now I can reboot my pineapple, and it'll be good. Um, also, these buttons don't go away. Um, one person's like, why are the buttons still there? Just don't worry about it. It says restarting and it's done. It's already restarted, and these buttons are going to be there constantly. Um, to change stuff back, you just pretty much undo what you did. And, um, yeah, so that's the thingy, and I'll show you guys a video of some more stuff pretty soon. So thanks for watching.